Good day and welcome to Motor Rose Music. I am Jeff Thiel, the host of the show. Today, yes, we got another one from West Creek. I think this is uh, probably the last one uh, that's on Amazon that I don't own. And it is the West Creek Racer. Yes, West C Creek Racer. That's tough to say. Uh, they, they had them in three colors, uh, like a gray, kind of a graphite color. Uh, the yellow, which is the one I got, and the one that's uh, the only one that's available at this time is the red, which also looks pretty damn good. Now, what you will see is why they call it a racer. But before I do the unboxing, I can tell you uh, currently uh, they are going for $179.99, and that is regularly $219.99 minus the $40 coupon that is available out there right now. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and unbox this thing. And I've already got it cut, so I didn't have to bust out my big knife. Oh, there goes the styrofoam. All right, there's the yellow. God, they always have it. These things are tight. All right, so get this rubber band off here. You know the drill goes flying. Let's tear that, take the headstock off. If we can kind of start to see that yellow come through. And all right, let's see. Ah, the squeakiness. Yes. There it is. The West Creek Racer. As you can tell, it is a, in a, a, like an SG, a Gibson SG body style. It's got the pointed horns. Uh, but it's also... And what I really like, a bit of an offset as well. Uh, it's not the straight up uh, SG body. It does have some carves to it. And yeah, it's got the nice points. And because it's a racer, yep, they put the stripes on it. Uh, we got two uh, humbuckers, uh, selector switch there, your two uh, tones and two volumes. And uh, as usual, uh, the West Creek has a mahogany body. It's got a maple neck on this one, a rosewood board. And I'm telling you, this is one of the, the nicest rosewood boards I, I've seen in a, in a while, especially on something that's under $200 right now. The thing looks beautiful, and I love the inlays. Let's see if we can get them on here. Probably be best if I just do a picture. But they're like chevrons uh, opposing directions. And on the 12th fret, the chevrons are colored in red. It's really kind of cool. Um, so, and they also have uh, stainless steel oh, strings. Come on, West Creek, stop it with that crap. <laughs> stainless steel strings. Yeah, trying, to, uh, trying to be tricky there. Now they have the usual rounded end frets and bone nut. Uh, the frets on this one, I mean, they always look good because they're the rounded end ones. Uh, but, you know, as typical on a budget guitar, even though they, they look good and they feel good, um, it's, they're not all, you know, perfectly cut as far as the size. You'll see some are a little shorter than others. Uh, nothing that causes any issues. So, uh, the only thing I can feel as far as, uh, or see, I'm saying feel because I can feel some orange peel up in the horns here and like one tiny maybe a piece of trash in the paint. Um, everywhere else, um, looks like they may have had a, like a, they have a scarf joint right here. I can kind of see that. Uh, but, you know, other than that, it, it looks great. The paint looks really good on the spots that count. It is a little bit like it's kind of dry right here, like they didn't spray enough perhaps in here or, uh, yeah, definitely uh, had some uh, little bit of dust in the paint as well. But again, $179, I'm not going to complain too much. It, it looks really good, uh, really good. Now, what does it sound like? Let's find out. All right, we're Next. back. I've got it plugged into my Fender 68 Deluxe Reverb. Uh, that is the silver face version, and uh, it is tube. And I've got a little bit of uh, reverb on. There you go. Not a whole lot. 
and I will be using a uh, rat for distortion. That's the Proco Rat. I'll have a link in the description for all of these pedals, the amp and the guitar. Uh, it's an Amazon affiliate link. I do get a commission if you purchase something from that link and uh, doesn't change the price plus or minus any way. It just helps me out and, uh, you know, it helps me, uh, you know, fund this channel for all these cheap guitars I'm buying. And also, uh, I will have uh, the uh, Kayleen uh, Easy Driver uh, for overdrive. Uh, so we'll do clean, overdriven, and then full-on distortion with the Rat, and we'll test each one of these pickups. So let's start with the clean, and I've got it on the bridge pickup. All right, pretty good. Let's uh, let's combine both the uh, bridge and neck. Now let's go to the neck pickup. All right, and that was volume uh, up on 10 and tone at 10. Uh, so let's, uh, I'll just do, run through some single notes here. That was clean into the 68 Deluxe Reverb with just a dash of reverb. So let's, uh, I am going to turn on uh, the Easy Driver by Kayleen. And we're going to have just some gain on there. Let me turn that down a little bit. All right. And we'll start with the bridge pickup. <laughs> Sounds pretty damn good with the overdrive. So, let's combine the neck and the bridge here. Not bad. Let's go to the neck pickup. Nice. All right. So now let's give it some distortion from the Rat by Proco. All right. Not exactly what I was wanting to play, but you get the idea. Now let's go to, uh-oh. I don't think this bridge is microphonic. Hello, hello. Bridge pickup, that is. Test. Let's turn that. Test, test. Ah. There we go. Strike one on this. You know, I... I've had, well, this is like the fifth West Creek guitar. This is the first time I believe I've had a microphonic pickup. That's kind of crazy. Let's, damn. Uh, let me turn the distortion down a little bit. And let's combine them. And now just the neck, still a bit microphonic. <laughs> just, 
trying to see if the string would break there. Um, so, okay, that was a little disappointing on this neck pickup. Um, the, it sounded great. I had no problems when I had the overdrive and obviously clean, but when I kicked on that rat, uh, yeah, this, uh, microphonic. Yeah, that's too bad. Uh, you know, what I'll do is, and, and I, I don't, the only thing I did to this, uh, after, you know, I cut, I stretched the strings out, made sure the thing would stay in tune. Cause I want to give it the, you know, the benefit of the doubt, the best, uh, cause everybody has to do that. You got to stretch strings out. So I want it to be as playable as it can be without like having to go through and do a whole setup. Um, so, you know, the neck looks pretty good on it. Um, everything uh, seemed fine. I didn't really check the intonation out a whole lot, it's, but everything sounds good as far as playing like a little power chord down there. That's basically how I did the test, but I didn't go through and, and, and tune it up just yet. But uh, I've not had intonation problems on the West Creek guitars. Uh, I've not had any real problems with them. Uh, the, the Flying V was, you know, the pickups, uh, I didn't have a, uh, a microphonic issue. Uh, they were a bit fizzy. Uh, they weren't the greatest sounding uh, with distortion. Uh, overdrive and clean, they sounded great. Just like this one, uh, but this is the first time I'm pretty sure that I've gotten a microphonic pickup with, with a West Creek. Um, so I wanted to do something, I started a little something different uh, when, when I judge these things. I, you know, give them a little award. I, I used to do that when I did a lot more pedals uh, and I would do recommended strap it to the board or um, close but no cigar. Uh, with the guitars, I kind of want to do, just to make it a little fun, is do a uh, uh, send it back, a keep it, or put it in the stand, meaning it's something I will always have out. So uh, for right now on this particular one, it's a definite keep it. Yeah, I mean, it's a, first of all, it, it, it looks cool as hell. Um, all, all the, you know, the fit and finish. Yeah, there are a couple of things here and there, but when you're making sub $200 guitars, you, you cannot expect I mean, be realistic. You cannot expect these things to be flawless. Uh, occasionally, you, you might get one, but I, 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 I don't have that high of expectations when I'm spending less than $200. My Les Paul, my American Strat, and you know, uh, my Gibson Acoustic, all those other type, anything when you're $500 or higher, you can be a little bit you know, uh, pickier about them, but this thing, all of the the West Creeks that I've had, they've all been very playable, really good guitars, and some bordering li borderline on great, especially if you consider the price. So this is definitely a keep it. I would not send this back at all. You know, the pickups for, you know, 179 bucks, you can replace it uh, with some, you know, decent ones. This bridge sounds pretty good. But if I'm going to replace one, I, I would probably just do both and maybe see if I can just uh, see if I can do something to it. I, I just noticed now it's pretty loosey goosey. So I will go through this and I like to do updates on this and I will do an update on this particular guitar and let you know if I was able to fix this or am I going to replace the, uh, the pickups in it because I probably... If I can't get it straight, um, I'll probably replace it because I really like this guitar. This is a great looking guitar and uh, it's a great platform if you are into doing stuff like that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not. Uh, it, it really helps us out a lot and give us a like if you like this video. That helps just as much too. Leave a comment if uh, there's anything, uh, you know, whatever. If you want to say anything positive or negative, I don't care. Um, if you have any suggestions, drop them in the comments. And thank you again for watching. And remember, keep rock alive.